What's up YouTube? This is Carrie from Side Trippin' with Carrie, and today we are at Holy Cross Cemetery in Avondale, Arizona, which is a suburb of Phoenix, and we're going to be visiting the final resting place of a munchkin, uh, a woman who was an actress in the 1939 movie that I know you all know and love, The Wizard of Oz. Her name is Margaret Pellegrini. Just panning around Holy Cross Cemetery and uh, very nice. The mausoleum is very nice. Um, and they've got this little pond with swans in it. I don't think you can see the swans right now, but it's kind of crazy because the pond is dyed. They put some kind of dye in the water. And I saw one of the swans get out one time and it was kind of the bottom of them was dyed blue so that's that's kind of odd so Margaret Pellegrini was a little person and she grew up or was born in a small town in Alabama called Tuscumbia I believe I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right or not uh, but it was a little town and the way her connection though how she got into the movie uh, the Wizard of Oz was her and her mother I guess went to like a state fair or something like that in Alabama and they were um, selling their wares from the farm or whatever and there was a touring troupe of like sideshow little people and they saw her recognized her as a little person and asked her if she wanted to travel the countryside with them she declined, but I guess she gave her name and number to one of the uh, little people. And when the casting call went out for The Wizard of Oz and they needed these little people, uh, she got a call. And her dad put the 16-year-old Margaret Pellegrini on a train, sent her to Hollywood, and she went all by herself. So that tells you a little bit about this woman's character um, she was 16 when she uh, was on the Wizard of Oz when she was cast and one of the interesting parts as far as compensation for being in the Wizard of Oz um, this Pellegrini talked about the little people there only making uh, $50 a week plus room and board or pl and expenses for their time there. And if you put that in the inflation calculator, it comes out to a, a little bit less than $1,100 in today's money, okay, per week, plus room and board. Uh, she, in her interview, she talked about Toto making like $120 a week, okay? And think about it. The little people were basically in one scene, one big scene, I should say, you know, as the munchkins. Now, some of them, I think, were flying monkeys as well, but for the most part, it's one big scene. I don't know how many weeks that took to film, but um, it wasn't nearly as long as Toto was in the movie. So Toto's making 120 bucks a week, and that comes out to about $2,500 a week in today's money. So here is Margaret's grave. As you can see, she interred next to her husband, William or Willie Pellegrini and Willie Pellegrini was a prize fighter for a very short time about three years I mean he had a decent career 21 wins 17 losses and seven um, 
draws. And yeah, I believe that's right. Or maybe it was 11 losses. But anyway, he he had a pretty decent career, but you know, that's a hard business, you know, and uh, in in most of Margaret's obituaries, they refer to him as a as a prize fighter or an ex prize fighter, but you know, the guy lived a pretty long life, had two children with Margaret, and you know, I don't know if he if he would want to be defined as an ex prize fighter. I mean, I, he just did it for a very short amount of time, but props to him for doing it because, man, that is a hard way to make a living. Let me tell you, and uh, he was um, not a little person himself but he was a smaller fighter he fought as a featherweight and uh you know that's roughly about 120 125 pounds you know i'm not sure if steve from famous graves with steve i think that's the name of his channel uh did a profile on margaret or not uh, i remember when he was out here he and i did a collaborative video about a year ago and i remember him saying he was going to do one on a an ex munchkin and i'm not sure if it was margaret or not i know the cemetery that we were at in scottsdale called green acres had a person there of one of the munchkins or ex munchkins i i should say who appeared in the movie because i remember steve pointed it out to me so I'm, I'm just not sure if he did a video on Margaret or not. Before I leave, I just wanted to say that Margaret Pellegrini was one of the last three of the little people munchkins who passed away. Uh, there's another woman by the name of Ruth Duccini who is actually buried in Arizona up at Prescott. Uh, she was the last female little person munchkin to pass away and I believe she passed away in 2013 and then the last little person to to pass away in general was Jerry Marin who was one of the lollipop guild guys and he passed away in 2018 when I was researching Margaret's uh, story I I found an interesting tidbit that I did not know before apparently I mean there were 124 little people that uh, they used in the Wizard of Oz, but they also used children, um, especially like there was a one woman I saw who was six years old when they filmed it. And I think they were like children of the people that made the movie, not necessarily cast members, but, you know, production people, that kind of thing. So there were some children sprinkled in there amongst the munchkins and, um, if a person were six years old in 1939, that means obviously they were born in 1933. So if any of those kids are still alive, they're gonna be 90 years old this year. So there may actually still be some living munchkins, if you will, but they're gonna be, you know, they would have been regular sized children, I, I guess you could say, rather than little people. Um, Margaret herself, was kind of known as the flower pot munchkin because she in her scene she had two scenes in the movie one she was kind of in the crowd when dorothy first landed in oz or in munchkin land i guess uh in the house and she came out and then the good witch came out and did that kind of vapid song about coming out i, I just <laughs> i never liked that good witch for some reason but anyway, she sang that song with her warbly voice. And then the munchkins kind of came out of the woodwork, if you will, or the flower gardens and whatnot with like flowers on their head. So she was one of those. And then she was also a sleepyhead munchkin. And those were the munchkins who, uh, there was another scene where they, they were in the, the munchkin song where they say, Wake up, you sleepy heads. Or something. Wake up, you sleepy heads. Rub your eyes, get up. And there's like a little, I don't know, nest or something. And they're kind of dressed in pink, I think. And then they're rubbing their eyes and they're, and they wake up like they're little babies or whatever. So 
she got two scenes, which is pretty cool. And um, by all indications, she was a very nice woman. Uh, there, I'll put up some links to some interviews with her. Everyone seemed to love her. She seemed, like I said, just a warm, nice woman. She lived a long life and I believe it was a happy one. So props to, uh, props to Margaret. So again, that's gonna end it folks. If you like the video, please give it a like. And if you like the channel, please subscribe. I'm still, believe it or not, trying to hit 500 subscriptions. It's been a slog. And uh, part of that's my fault for not doing more videos, but it's kind of, gets a little difficult sometimes when you have a full-time job like I do right now. So anyway, I'll endeavor to do better, but leave a like, leave some comments, and uh, subscribe to the channel, spread the video around, and uh, we will see you on the next one.